Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Of course, I have the full right to be very proud and happy about my analysis for the last week. They all have been on spot for almost all of the pairs except for gold and I will show you later what happened. Uh, not only that, but even our premium group signals for Forex signals is doing really very well and the signals have been as well on spot and the clients thankfully have made money. Uh, let me just show you please. Uh, this is our extreme premium signals group and Angela sent yesterday, she sent yesterday four signals. So let's just uh, review them together. She sent the signal to buy the USD CAD on the level 1.3076 and checking the level here um, the red line representing the signal the premium signals uh, entry point and we can see that so far that red is running in almost 13 pips of profit and going to the next signal the pound NZD to buy on the level 1.9756 so let's check pound and ZD and we can see this is the, rev the level mentioned for the buy and we can see the trade is running so far in 42 pips of profit. It was actually running in almost 61 pips of profit. Fantastic actually. AUD USD of course no need to mention it's going down and the sell order was actually perfect and very right. CHF JPY sell on the level 113.62 CHFY this is the level mentioned in the signal 113.628 uh, 62 almost 62 yeah so we can see that this is the right level and the signal is running so far in almost 23 pips of profit amazing brilliant and i'm really happy and proud and we have the full right to be really uh just proud about our results because we are doing very well everyone is happy we are happy and the clients are happy so if you wish to join the signals group please contact angela you can find her link in the description below this video hope to see you there guys and thank you so looking at our midweek analysis uh let's now review what happened in the last week or on this week so far with the pairs let's start as usual with the euro usd uh, the euro usd has reversed exactly uh, on the level mentioned in the last video uh, of the weekly analysis I mentioned that this resistance here is going to be respected and we can expect this resistance to be another resistance right here after this bearish breakout candle and thankfully the pair has reversed exactly on the very same level I gave in the last video maybe I gave it like that but I mean yeah I still have the credit the, credit, the level is exactly the same however uh, what is next now Going to the daily candles or the daily uh, chart, we can see that we still have here a good head and shoulders pattern indicating that the euro USD seems like it's going to continue falling more down. Now, if you, uh, if you have opened any sell orders on the euro USD, I highly suggest you to hold them because the euro USD seems like it's going to continue falling. Not to mention that we have in here a support uh, trend line and it has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle and the market has retested, retested this uh, level and right now it has become a resistance trend line and now the market going to continue falling. So if you have opened any sell order for the euro USD, just hold it and you can expect for the euro USD to rise just a little bit more like that. Uh, from my point of view, what will going to happen in the euro USD that this resistance level here, which is also here a support. Sorry, did I say resistance? I mean support. This support level here, which was also a support right here. Uh, this level cannot be ignored. And I believe we are already having here a support number one. And I believe that the euro USD is going to hit this support level, creating a support number two. Then it's going to reverse, making a pullback. And right here, we are having here a resistance one. And the market is going to reverse here, as I said, and going to create a resistance number two. And then it's going to continue its bearish momentum and going to fall down all the way to this support level right here. So to summarize it, that is how I'm expecting for the euro USD to move, to go a little bit down, hit the support, go a little bit more up, making a pullback, hitting this resistance. And from that point, it's going to fall down all the way, hitting this support level so the euro usd signal is still valid and it really seems a good level to keep shorting the euro usd let's check now the pound usd 
what's happening to the pound now the pound I was expecting for the pound to actually reverse on this resistance level mentioned here however we can see that the pound just continued rising a little bit more up with one candle uh, that candle was a little bit costly it was almost 30 38 pips against our direction uh, the next candle representing a fake breakout so I believe this was a fake breakout and most likely what is gonna happen right now that the pound is gonna start falling uh, the reason I'm saying that is we are having here a resistance like that and by the way my eyes was looking here so this resistance has kept its position as a resistance for one two three times and as I said this seems like a fake breakout candle and therefore I believe that the market has started now the reversal and the bearish uh, reversal started and we can if you have opened any short order for the pound USD you can keep them because the pair seems like it's gonna fall and what we can see here is this support trend line has been breaking out and became a resistance trend line the market has retested, retested this level and right, right now seems like it's gonna fall down uh, not to mention of course let me just uh, confirm it first okay no I thought I, I'm seeing head and shoulders no it's just a double top anyway uh, the pound USD as I said is good for the short and you can keep the position uh, running um, if you didn't short the pound USD yet it's not really the smartest idea to short right now why uh, shorting the US the pound USD right now at the moment is not really good because you are stuck between in, in the middle between a strong support level and a resistance and it's gonna cost you a lot of pips if you open the short option because the candle might go a little bit more up for almost 35 pips before again continue falling more down uh, therefore I suggest you if you have opened any sell orders for the pound USD to keep them if you didn't just wait the right moment for the pound to reach any resistance level and then you can start shorting it any resistance level such as this level right here or right here like that and I'm just looking here I'm looking here and I'm looking here so again uh, pound USD is good for the short we can keep our uh, short uh, positions open just please wait for the right moment if you didn't open any order yet uh, wait for the pair to reach to, for, for the pair to reach a resist a resistance level and then we can start shorting the pound USD you AUD USD now the AUD USD has really fall down as I expected and I believe it has hit the tech profit level or not yet uh, no not yet to be honest with you frankly speaking I'm, my problem is my memory I don't remember what was my tech profit level was it this level of the support or this level of the support to honestly speaking I'm just being very honest with you um, I will assume that this was the level mentioned for the tech profit level anyway what is next now in my opinion AUD USD is no longer gonna be good for the short right now at least not at the moment because we are having here a very clear support number one and right now the market is creating a support number two however it's not gonna hold the buy option for a long time because we are having here a resistance level and this resistance is gonna definitely keep its position as a resistance especially seeing that this resistance has became here a support meaning in other words let me just change the color of this it's annoying me all right huh is blue I don't want dark blue I just want blue mm, all right so in my expectation the AUD USD let me just be sure what I'm saying here yes I believe at this level exactly let me be, uh, delete this one so uh, we are on the four hour chart let's check the daily candles just to be sure and sure enough we are seeing here a very clear support a key support level that is a very important key support level because it seems like it's gonna keep its position which it has already been done and we have here a support one and right now the market is creating support number two therefore I believe that the AUDUSD should be good for the buy for very short time 
uh, just for the candle to reverse up here retesting this previous support level which was also a previous resistance then from that point we can start again shorting the AUD UST because as I said before we are having here head and shoulders and most likely the pair is going to continue falling all the way down until it hit this previous support level right here therefore uh, AUD USD can be good for the buy for short time only for uh, oh my god only for 20 pips yeah only for 20 pips and then if you want my advice honestly don't buy the pair don't buy the AUD USD if you have any short options uh, on the AUD USD you can close them now with the profit and just wait the right moment to enter again for the AUD USD to retest this level of the resistance on the level uh, 0 0.68564 0 0.68564 I have given recently so many wrong numbers uh, mistakenly typing them therefore I'm just checking I'm double checking only sell so we can start shorting the AUD USD right on this level of the resistance that should be good level to again continue shorting the AUD USD keep your trade running until it hit this previous support level and hopefully this is gonna be good uh, deal for the AUD USD let's check now the uh, the USD JPY now the USD JPY did not really reverse exactly on the level I mentioned I was expecting for the AUD JPY sorry the USD JPY to reverse on this previous uh, resistance however it just kept falling down until it hit this previous support level eventually it's reversing and right now it's back on our uh, entry point so any losses has been thankfully recovered yeah the pair just went like uh, 17 or 20 pips against us that's not a big deal however uh, the bullish reversal has started its pattern and from my point of view uh, USD GPY is gonna continue as I said going up until it hit this resistance level that is our jackpot for start shorting the USD GPY we are just waiting for this moment to short the, the USD GPY so we can see that the buy order here the signal is still valid for the USD GPY and you can keep your trade run, keep your trade running until it hit this previous resistance because it is our take profit and sell order as well so USD GPY signal is still valid no changes in that signal let's now check the USD CAD USD CAD also is a still valid signal for the buy however we can expect a small reversal to happen right on this level because we are having a very clear resistance one and on daily candles I am on daily candles so we can see that we have here a resistance and we can expect the market to reverse on resistance number two so again this is daily candles let's now go to the smaller time frame which is four hour to find the best level to again buy the pair so we are expecting the pair to reverse on this level of the resistance so if it does where it is where is it gonna be going until we can start again uh, buying the USD CAD in my opinion it's gonna continue falling until it hit this previous support level right here uh, before we decide that don't rush to decide please uh, let's just uh, check the past to find if there was any good support level exactly on this uh, same support level so I'm just looking at the past uh, sure enough we can see here we have a strong support level and right here we also have a strong support right here as well uh, just continue just check on more to the left and again sure enough we see here almost a key a key support level on the very same level and right here as well a strong support level which was also a strong resistance therefore this level is trusted for me and let me just uh, give the signal that the USD CAD seems like it's gonna reverse exactly at this point of the resistance because we having here a previous support so again a uh, USD CAD is gonna reverse on this resistance falling all the way down until it had this previous support and from that point we can start buying the USD CAD and keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here so let me just uh, write for you the levels uh, USD CAD 
USD CAD is good for the buy on 1.30643 and keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here so we can look for almost 100 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna get them all if you want to play some games here if you want to be risky you can actually start selling the usd cad if you want just a scalping signal that is just for scalping you can enter your sell order right here and exit your trade at the nearest resistance which was here so that is like 22 pips of profit hopefully you can get them uh, let me just try them for you like that so I'm sure this is, might be confusing I don't want to confuse anyone let me just uh, delete that that is more uh, that is better actually so that is our signal for the USD CAD hopefully it's gonna be good uh, for the buy um, Let's check the USDCHF. USDCHF has also reversed exactly on the same level I gave in the last week analysis video. Uh, we, we saw here a support level and the USDCHF has respected this level and reversed exactly on the same level I gave and that makes me really happy. And therefore we can expect that those who have entered this signal have earned about 35-36 pips of profit. Now what's next? Uh, from my point of view USDCHF is gonna continue its bullish momentum and gonna continue rising all the way up until it hit this resistance level until it hit this resistance level and then it's gonna reverse and it's gonna let me just be sure because what I'm expecting for the USDCHF is it's gonna fo uh, go up here, reverse on this resistance, making a pullback, and then gonna continue rising more up. However, not for so long time because um, we need to find where is the best level to start buying the USDCHF again. So let me just look at the left because I'm ex I'm suspecting this level actually, like that, exactly like that. Uh, let me just check on the left if there was a strong support level right here. Yes, we're having one here. And, oh, yeah, oh my God, perfect, fantastic. Look at that key support level. Uh, I don't need to look any farther because this is actually sure enough level to start buying the USDCHF. Therefore, again, uh, USDCHF most likely is going to reverse on this resistance and then again going to pull back for almost 14 pips. And that is going to be the best level where we can start buying the USDCHF again so if you have any buy orders for the USDCHF please keep them if you don't just wait the right moment and you can actually go and buy the USDCHF right away if you don't if you didn't or, or if you watch this video late or you missed it uh, let me just uh, tell you that we can start buying the USDCHF on the current level to be honest um, 0.96956 that is be the gonna be the best level to start buying the USDCHF again in case you have missed that signal and you can keep your trade running uh, all the way until it hit this previous resistance I believe is gonna continue rising all the way up until hitting this previous resistance now let's check the gold the gold was really interesting what happened was really mind-blowing because uh, what I said in the last video for the weekly, weekly analysis that the gold can be good for the short on this resistance level after the breakout here however that didn't happen and the gold just continued rising more up and at that point I thought that I should make a video uh, because the gold has changed to be from resistance to a support what happened after that is extraordinary we can see that this support level here has become the new resistance and after this market after the market hit this previous support the gold has made a strong reversal hitting everywhere I mean it's just reversed all the way back and went back to our entry point and continue going all the way until uh, my take profit level that is my take profit level which I have given in the last video so that was a major fall for the gold it fall for almost 177 pips uh, sadly uh, my signal was a bit early and the gold has went for almost 100 pips against us therefore it was not a profitable signal however what happened next 
what happened next now this bearish candle here is indicating that the gold seems like it's gonna continue its bearish momentum uh, is the gold in my opinion in general point in general direction is gonna go up however that seems gonna take some time because uh, the gold reversed on this resistance level again after this bearish breakout candle and this price action usually indicating a continuation in the bearish reversal and again that is on four hour chart let's go now to the one hour chart because the gold movement is really uh, sensitive and um, that is actually gonna take some time to analyze the gold it's gonna take quite some time uh, we need just to be sure maybe I should start analyzing these uh, videos before recording I just need to save everyone's time um, let me just do some analysis my friend and I'll, my friends and I'll be, and I'll be back to you once I finish with this analysis all right so just to make it clear for everyone that the gold signal is gonna be a little a little bit confusing because we are stuck between a very good levels for short and for buy uh, the gold as I said is in general going up I believe this is gonna happen on the level 1540.83 because of this very strong support levels we are having here and the market has already created a support number one and look at the gold it's, start, it's just started falling right now uh, it's making some really uh, strong bearish momentum look at that look at it it's just happening right now so I believe this is gonna be the best level to start buying the gold this support level is gonna be respected and I wanted to say that we can start shorting the gold right away however that is really costly one candle can actually be very bad for you therefore I will not give any short signals for the gold um, I'm just saying that the gold seems like it's gonna continue falling all the way down until it hit this previous uh, support level which is gonna be good level to start buying the gold therefore we can start buy the gold on 1540.83 I believe this is a convenient level and it's a good level to start buying the gold definitely yes so yeah I believe that is everything uh, for this video I just hope this is gonna be a profitable and good week for everyone and in the end uh, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching